Hi and welcome back to a new page in my art journal. I used a lot of layers on my page and also stems from rubber dance and some hand-drawn butterflies. My page is already prepared with some leftover paints and a layer with a paper napkin. I glued the napkin down with gel medium and my next layer will be white gesso and I use a palette knife to apply it. I'm sure some of you also watched the video from the art channeling YouTube hop. I was so honored to be part of this great collaboration and I just want to say thank you to you all that left so many nice and lovely comments to my channel. I felt so honored and lucky when I read them. What I'm doing now is I'm sketching some butterflies and I redraw them with a black fine liner. Of course you can also use a butterfly stamp to decorate your page. I know a lot of people that tell me that they can't draw and it's not possible but what I can tell you is that it's just practicing. It's something that your brain has to learn and um, it's a good thing to do this daily because your brain and your fingers will get a special connection when you do this. There are so many gorgeous YouTube videos about learning to draw so if you want to learn it I recommend watch some videos and do the do it daily. Draw daily, pick a pencil and sketch anything you want. I use my watercolor paints to color the butterflies. I picked the Mijello Mission Gold watercolors and what I have to say about these, they are awesome. They are affordable and really high quality watercolors and I am not an affiliate to Magellan Mission Gold or any kind of design team member or something like that. I just say it because I love these colors. I don't take too much time to uh, color the butterflies, I also don't draw any special details. I just wet the areas where I want to have the paint and spread it in. I often get asked what kind of brush this is that I'm using right at the moment. It's called a French watercolor brush, so maybe you search at your local art store or on Google to find it. Unfortunately my camera will stop recording soon because my storage was empty so I'm very sorry but the coloring process is not completely on the video. What I did was I stamped some flower stamps from rubber dance directly to the background and I cut out my butterflies. I pulled out my Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens and color in the flowers. These pens are great to work on art channel pages. 
I use them together with the archive link. They become completely permanent when they are dry. They are also really high quality. I think I have them laying around for about 3 to 4 years and they don't dry out. One thing you have to know about any kind of markers or pens, you have to store them flat so they don't dry out. I didn't know this at the beginning and I store my distress inks, uh, distress markers vertically and they are all dried up. Again, these stamps are from Rubber Dance, and I'm sure a lot of you know that I am a design team member of Rubber Dance and I also made some stamp designs for Rubber Dance. And you will find a free shipping code to the Rubber Dance online store in the description box. I'm adding some black paint splatters and also some white splatters. I like to do this because this adds another layer to your artwork and it creates more dimension. Finally I'm gluing down my butterflies and I also cut out some sentiments. I believe these were from the Mixed Up Magazine printable. I'm sketching some lines with a fine liner around my words. This is the finished page. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will be very happy if you leave me a nice comment and of course I will read and answer it. So if you have any questions feel free to ask there too. If you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumb up. Thank you and see you next time. Bye!